A, doing a quick little you side work. You handy with that sword of yours? I am. Of course I've... you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? <laughs> and not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. You better relax, bro. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. I wonder what makes the difference. Why is it a plus sign instead of like an exclamation mark? I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get there. White Heart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. We go around the hill. <laughs> I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds, looks like they went that way. Fight. Got some old RP. And we're gonna save them. Got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Yes, uh, or better still, how about we hurt you both? Good luck. Right then. But don't say I didn't warn you.
And we saved the chocobos. Buckbeak? You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? It couldn't be. No shot, dude. Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. Yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sort of the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. That's crazy. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I. Uh, <clears throat> oh no! Sorry, sorry. I, I I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master <coughs> back. I reckon. Told you, and it seems our pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. It really is. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. You gonna give me a saddle? Let's go. We got some faster traveling, I suppose. Oh, ain't you got an eye patch? Yo, eye patches are dope. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. 
But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry. We'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, let's be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks, buddy. And we got a chocobo now. Let's go. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Dang, so we got a flaw. That means we uh, have a chocobo for everybody, basically. Ambrosia's tack. Chocobo unlocked. After 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia and X to mount the chocobo. I want to try. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. It, it is much faster. All right. So where we gotta go now? We gotta go back to the hideaway. There's no extra quests or anything, so let's go. Let's go. Where's Gav? A new mission has been discovered in my chambers. I think we'll go to that first. I hear there's trouble. If they let me, of course. I think it's all right Let's to touch check him. what we got. Also, what's this up here? Oh, there's the tag. All right. New. A bird by any other name. Forgive my insistence on writing you these silly letters. Would that we had more time to speak to each other in person, but for every day we spend together, it feels as though we must suffer another two part. I'm gladdened to hear of your most unexpected reunion with Ambrosia, or should I say Whiteheart. You told me once how your chocobo sacrificed herself to protect you that night at the Phoenix Gate. And here, so many years later, we find she has spent her life doing that exact same thing, defending others. Some things never change, do they, Carl? Is that, is that like a mission or why did it have a thing next to it? I guess that's just a letter or something. I guess they're just letters, they're not actual missions. What does that say on the map though? Local map. Oh, it's, yeah, it's literally just called the reading table. I'm reading too much into that, no pun intended. To this guy. What do you need? What's that for, you, dear? We haven't been able to get new stuff in a long while. Wonder why that is. Else? Nope. We're gonna move on. What's up, Gab? Ah, Clive! How <laughs> I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? 
But no kind words be ruled, pal Gav. <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. Ooh, we scheming? Let's go. Oh, so, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Arthur. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Uh-oh. They'll never see us coming. Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Iron Home. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. <laughs> I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that, then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? This just got a little bit more intense. Oh, we got a bounty board. Auto's counter is now open. Nice, dude. New facilities. The following hideaway facilities are now available. Alliant, Alliant reports, the patrons whisper, the hunt board. All three are located near Auto in the mess. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What are we waiting for, indeed? We got new quests and stuff. Let's go check those out. Don't try your apples. The See, botanist. I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. 
I thought this first Arvis could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Uh, why not? It'd be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. We got her. And back up we go. Up and up and up and up and up. A lot of people don't didn't like the side quests or were like indifferent about them. I actually think it adds like to the lore of the areas and stuff. Did you come through the forge today? I'm actually quite alright with it. But I'm also very used to playing like JRPGs with an insane amount of side quests and all that. I hear there's trouble in my You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. They only gave him one, though. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. I <laughs> am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Take it. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Uh, old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't ya? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Yeah, that was nice. That was like a, a nice little send off to uh, march out. It's those tiny things that bring like the right. hideaway together, you know? Make it seem tight knit, like a community. I'm coming, man. They don't give me the option to run. It's not the curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. After all these years, 
I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? That's how it goes sometimes, man. She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapin after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Let's go. That was a that was a wholesome quest. <laughs> This, I have no idea. Let's go. Southern Rosaria. We're here. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Again. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Uh-oh. What you got? I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. Yes, ma'am. Come on. Let's go then. Bloodlines. Oh. Alright, where do we gotta go? How do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Porto Zolva. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Stay down! I don't know what it is about those, or if I'm even supposed to attack those, but I see them and I attack them. This is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria, 
must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing the gallows jig like this? You're a long way from home, aren't you? Diablade? Fierce Much obliged. There you Damn, are. Damn, 20k for that? Uh, we might as well fill up too. You won't be disappointed. I suppose we won't be seeing you again. Speak with several villagers. You seen him, didn't you? Yeah. I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a Black Shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the arsen to nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. Damn. That's a fair old star. That's messed up, man. There, by the way. How'd you That's messed up, man. What did those lights want, Father? I'm just gonna turn everybody in. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a Black Shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they, Chest? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. We need to find out from there. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? <laughs> we couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village. And we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Viceween's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? Me. A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do?
Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. All right, and I think that's where we're going to pause it for now. And start up another time. <laughs>